Hi guys, welcome back to our video again. So we just bought the Baby GS, which is the G310. This bike has clocked very little mileage over the years. So the owner has been only using it for around 13, 14 ish thousand for the past few years. From our understanding, the owner actually did basic maintenance, which is the engine oil. Other than that, uh, it's pretty much using whatever the factory fluid. So what we have done so far after getting the bike back for a week is to get a new box. And then other than that, everything is pretty much stock. We will do some repainting of this faded matte black kind of panels. Flush the brake fluid and also check out the fork oil if we have time. And the key thing here is to do some cleanup and also to black out this silver part which you can see is very prone to oil stain from the chain loop itself and pretty much easily dirty. And we also will flush out the coolant, which I think it has been neglected since the manufacturing date. After removing the four bolt from the belly pan, so now we got to remove this. Three bolt here, one, two, and one, and one more inside here. So we unhook this, and then inside you will have three bolt to remove. So while waiting for the panel to dry, we will move on to the next stage is to remove this tank cover. So it seems like there's a lot of bolt all around. This seems to have more bolt than the Japanese Super Sports. So we took out the tank, there's, so there's really a lot of nuts in order to take out the tank. So on the tank alone, there's like 12 bolts. So to remove the side panel, there's probably another 10 more on each side. So right now, what we want to do is to lift up this fuel tank. We unplug the overflow hose and then there's two 12 bolt nuts on the side of the tank. So basically, we just loosen it and then the tank should be able to slide out. We unplug the tank, the hose, and then this is the fuel pump, the clip, and then this is the reader sensor. And then now we have clear access to here. So what we gotta do is, since we are already at this stage, we gotta open up the air box to inspect the air filter. Feel very decent. And then this is where the air intake is. So we will buy a rechargeable air filter to exchange for this. This is my first time encountering this kind of clip-on air filter, which is very common on the car. So uh, this is the first time I see on the bike. So to pull out the ignition coil cable, you need to lift up this part and then pull this cable out. So now we slowly feed this ignition coil out. Okay, so we finally pull out the ignition coil. It took a while, I guess, because it has never been taken out before. So it's pretty tough. So right now we try to extract out the spark plug and check if it's in spec. So the interesting part is here, the normal spark plug remover cannot enter this spark plug. So it seems like it's uh, much, much, much smaller. So we have to figure out what's the size here in order to get the right tools. While waiting for the paint to dry, we will drain the coolant. So there's two parts of it, the reservoir and then and the main circulation. I think this is the boat to remove for it to drip out. We have loosened this and then we will see what will happen. So what happened was we didn't open up this to let air enter. So what we got to do is to open it now. Okay, and to see it start dripping. Ah. It's everywhere, it create a mess. So now it's flowing out properly. Let's check the reservoir, which is uh, quite clean. There's no scaling, so this is so far so good. So we unclip this clip hose and then try to move this cube out. So now what we gotta do is to remove all the boat and then take out this cover to black it out. There's quite a few boats, so it will take some time. So there are a few bolts that are blocked by this panel, so you have to remove this panel in order to access to it. Remove these two bolts here in order to free this thing out so you can maneuver it to gain access to the boat. So now we are stuck at this part, this cover can't come out. So we have a little bit of knock and to loosen it, gentle tapping. And you can see some oil is leaking out. So all we have to do is to gently push it out. We don't want to damage any of the casing or the gasket, slowly but surely. So right now, we will remove the crank cover. Same thing, remove all the screw and then loosen all the hose. So in order to take it out, we need to remove the 
sprocket cover. So now we gotta remove this magneto coil in order to isolate this cover. So last night it was pretty dark so we let the paint to dry and it's still not fully dry yet. So uh, we assemble everything back for the moment. Yeah, as you can see that the coolant has dropped. The other day we actually filled it over the max line. So now it's dropped. But right now we'll top up the coolant. And we also fill up the reservoir tank. So now we gotta bleed the brake. So first thing first, we need to open up this uh, right side panel to access to the reservoir. We open it up and then we feed in the bleeder hose and loosen the nut. We cover up the side because we don't want the fluid to spill all over the place. It's corrosive to the paint. As we can see here that the fluid is actually not very fresh. So all we need to do now is just keep pumping. So keep pumping is to push out the old fluid and then not forgetting to top it up constantly. Just take note of the level. Just ensure that you don't pump air inside. Okay, you will keep doing it until the color is clear and as fresh as the new oil that you pour in. And you know it's time to stop. The interesting part is that the front brake breathing hose uses an 8, but the rear uses a 10. Very interesting. We'll repeat the same thing on the front. We'll just move the cap. So it looks like a bit greenish here. So right now, we will proceed to our last stage, is to put back all the fairings back. We are supposed to change the fork oil as well, but we couldn't find the right tools to open up the front wheel. So we'll try to figure out that on the next episode. I believe that the fork oil is also due for changing. Let us put this back with all the 12 screws. So right guys, this will be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye.